There are some things you just figure will always remain the same. You think how different could school lunch really be? You thought you'd seen it all until this kind of thing happened. This kind of thing, the pandemic. It's been, it's been challenging. The kind of thing that brings constant change. What was true yesterday might not be true today. So here's Christina Keir and part of her team. So we are at Chaparral High School, one of the four locations that we will continue handing out meal bags. Christina is a trainer for nutrition services. Well, that's what her business card says. She took on kind of an added role as soon as the pandemic hit. And every time I'd go out to one of the sites, there was there was Christina working. She became a leader in an uncertain time. Not sure how to feed kids. We were scared that we were going to, you know, um, be a part of, you know, the, the spreading of the virus. She saw it as an opportunity. I really like the change. I kind of like that excitement. An opportunity to help her community. We live in an affluent community in this county, but at the same time, there was a lot of food insecurity. Then the team, you could say, got the memo. Got a waiver from the USDA saying, no, they're all free. Wait a minute, all free? Every meal that we serve, every breakfast we serve, every lunch is um, paid for by the USDA. This is open to anyone. It's We are feeding anyone that shows up 18 years of age or younger. Free food for in-person or remote students ever since September. Just one problem. So we lost a lot of employees, but and we've had a harder time getting them back. More food to distribute, less workers to do it. That has been probably our greatest challenge is staffing. So Christina stepped up. As the training specialist, communicating the new information out to our staff has been essential. And the target kept moving. There are times where I've spent you know, several days on a project to get it out, and then by the end of the day, it's like, nope, that's not happening anymore. Her and the rest of her team just kept at it. We've pulled together. There is one thing that has not changed. I like to see kids happy. It's remarkable what we have accomplished. Christina, I want to just uh, take a few moments to say thank you. Um, there are so many things, uh, reasons why you're such a uh, great part of this team, this nutrition service team. Um, but most of all is that you're, you've got a great attitude. I know that our, um, all of our team uh, in nutrition services welcomes and this award as you deserve it. Um, we think you're an awesome person and we just look for you to continue to grow and be, make our team look the very best in the, in the, in the nation. So thank you, Christina. I appreciate you being here and, um, and congratulations on this award.